Hey there, folks. Welcome to Juice Game Reviews live stream. My mic is apparently working. That's a good sign. Let me actually adjust it slightly. One second. My hair is not working, though. I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, whatever. Uh, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. I'm increasing the gate a little bit here. Testing one, two, three. All right, that's fine. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Shoes Game Reviews live stream. We, so today, the, the, the I have this disc um, called Basic Games from Public Brand Software. Let me start the Twitch stream as well, although I don't think anybody's watching on Twitch. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy 12. So, first of all, Pirate Gear Boy 12 says GW Basic for the win. And interestingly enough, you, you do need GW Basic. So th these games... Public Green Band Software made all these discs for DOS um, that were like supposed to be like some of their utilities, a lot of them were games. The ones that were supposed to be games are like either like, like the public domain or freeware or shareware, although it seemed like a lot of like very early IBM games, I think from 82, 83, ended up on these discs, and it's not quite certain to me that the shareware, that the, the you know, the original license actually lapsed or they converted to public domain or what like these guys may have thought they did it's not really clear um in this case all the games say basic or basic games in the language of basic and um <laughs> my <Mike> crotch <laughs> i like your name mike that's funny um <laughs> so the when you when you install the game it doesn't really do much it doesn't come with any instructions but like it attempts slightly to like use Basic A, which comes with IBM, which doesn't work. IBM DOS which doesn't work on DOSBox, so I did actually copy over GW Basic, as uh, Pirate Gear Boy suggested. So um, I don't. I haven't played any of these games. I don't know if they're any good or not. My guess is some of them are good, some of them are not. I only tried one of them just to see if it worked. Uh, that's his first thing. App. Dot bass. So let's run it. And it's interesting. So Appalachian Trail by David H. All, 1986. And David All um, is the guy who wrote the book 101 Basic Games. He's the founder of Creative, Co Creative Computing Magazine and the company. He always is asleep. Um, so, but if it's copyright 1986, I don't know. Where this you know this could have come from a book he wrote, or I mean, I think Creative Computing folded by then. So I'm not sure what... He may have just written a game and they, they picked it up somehow. I don't know. You're a hiker. Mike Roch says, I'm simply going to ask you to accept my apology and this long-time beef. Um, you don't... First of all, I accept your apology. If you just, just like I said, just don't talk so much about nonsense. Talk about the games. and not talking about... i talking about Grotto and apologies or whatever. Hey, pal, puck. Appalachian trails involve kissing cousins. I don't know. Um, and in terms of the cycles, I don't know them set correctly, but like right now, it doesn't matter. I mean, like I can lower the cycles right now if you want. All right, their cycles are pretty low. You're a hiker whose goal is to walk the entire 2007 miles of the Appalachian Trail from Springer Mountain, Georgia, to Mount Katahdin, Maine. You said in April, as soon as the smokies are clear of snow, you must reach the northern terminus before it is blocked by snow. Your hike is divided into three-day segments. Along the way, you encounter natural hazards, difficulties with your equipment, and physical problems. Mike Roger, I never, I never banned you, Jazz, so he's not, he's not bad. Camera planning for your hike is very important. I don't think so, anyway. Camera planning for your hike is very important. Deciding what to pack, you have to make trade-offs. You're to weight and comfort. Of course, everything must fit in your pack. You must decide how you obtain food along the route, how much to eat each food group, how many calories to replenish. You must decide how much pace you will walk and how long to hike each day. Mike, if you don't stop with this, with, with distracting me with, with nonsense, I'm going to have to, you, you also. Like I said, I don't mind you being here and you don't mind you interacting, but you got to talk about the game, not talk about stupid nonsense, because I'm trying to read and you keep on talking about muting and unmuting and other bullshit, so, so lay off already, man. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to mute you and all your aliases. I'd kick you out, too. Um, you must decide which pace you'll walk and how long to hike each day. Of course, a faster pace will cover miles more quickly than a slower one. <clears throat> but it's much harder on your body. 
You don't make choices to deal with mishaps. Assume you're a sensible you're a sensible hiker or make repairs where necessary, replace things that wear out. See the doctor if you get sick. Everyone's mishaps cost you time, which you little to spare, and you take another five million steps towards so this this guy's like insane. He's gonna walk from Georgia to Maine. It's pretty goddamn far. First we need some data about you, your sex, male or female. Uh male. Your weight in pounds. Uh, 260. What's your physical condition? Good. You change your pace as ice progresses. We're at a faster pace, covers distance more quickly, it burns more calories, a higher risk of injury. What rate do you wish to walk? I'll say like 2.5. Walking hours per day. You change as time goes on. To start, how many hours do you wish to walk per day? Uh, seven. Your sensitivity to poison ivy. Highly sensitive, moderately sensitive, immune. I don't know, moderately sensitive. Peel of hike the trail, it feels about rain. One let it pour, I love it. Two no problems, the sun comes out every few days. Three, five solid days of rain really gets me down. Four, if I foresee a long stretch of rain, I'll hole up in a shelter or motel and wait it out. I guess probably four. You must make some decision about what to pack. I don't know. I guess the Eureka Crescent bike, because it's big. Oh, no, I, I, well, I didn't really think that through. I'm going to carry a whole shitload on my back, it looks like. Right, I'll take the Camp Trails Gray Wolf Internal Frame Pack. Because it has the most space. Sleeping Bag. Take a light one. I don't, really, I don't really need a sleeping bag. I mean, sleeping pad slash mattress. Uh, number two, maybe? Stove. There's a lot of decisions here. None. Incidentally, wood fires are for here on the trail. All right, so number two, I guess. Boots. Oh my God. Who gives a shit? Number three. Rain gear. I'll take number two. How many changes of underwear do you want to take? <laughs> Uh, five? Do you want to take a walking stick? Okay. Go command, though. Okay. In addition, you must carry a hat, short sleeve shirt, chill boy shirt, light jacket, long underwear, hiking shorts, long pants, three pair of socks, eating gear, water bottle, soap, toilet tissue, toilet supplies, towel, first aid kit, snake bite kit, flashlight, 100 foot nylon cord, watch, compass, lighter, bandana, sewing kit, insect repellent, Swiss Army knife, water purifier, tablets, notebook, maps, guidebook, stuffed sacks. Those stuffed sacks. Moleskin, camera, and money. If you bought everything new, the total cost would be $785. dollars so me what you're wearing and carrying is 30 pounds, 15 ounces. That include food or water. What am I carrying all this shit for? You've died of monkey butt. Common systems of food supply include caches buried along the trail. Pros, no ways to tie leave the trail for food. Heavy items can be buried. Two foods at the post office along the way. Pro more flexible than caches. Cods, POs, closed night, Saturday, PO, and Sunday. Three grocery stores and restaurants. 
Good variety cheap. I'll say three because I don't want to carry it with me or have people bury food for me. Who's going to bury food for me? I think number three. Obviously, your carrier food will be sufficient for dry, dehydrated, country, etc. However, you must specify the percentage of your diet accounted for squirrels <laughs> by each of the following food groups. And rule all five must be added to 100. I don't know. What the hell is this shit? Think you'd rather play Hammurabi? I, we, we don't know where this is going. I, I wonder, I'm wondering after you make all these decisions, it's just like, okay, thanks for telling me all this crap. Like, have a good day. Bye. Like, we could totally put it past it, actually. Given your weight out of your supplies, you expect to burn at least 5,881 calories per day? Oh my god. I think I'm walking too much. <laughs> How many calories of the food do you want to eat? I guess 4,000. <laughs> food, water, and 77 ounces of your trip. Why? I still want to get at the restaurant. All right, it's April 1st, and you quickly step out. Of the approach trail of Abacalola Falls, Georgia. You hike the 6.9 miles to the peak of Springer Mountain inside the trail log. The first of you intended to side. Your hike will take you through 14 states. The trail waters 2,007 miles along the Appalachian Mountains to Baxter Peak on Mountain County and Maine. It's a challenging trail the average climb of 200 feet each mile. If you're the 2,000 people walks the entire length, good luck. Who, like, what the, what, what's going on here? You've walked forty nine miles, April third, late snow of the smokies. This is like this is like Oregon Trail. April seventh, you walked ninety nine miles. You went to readers and military exercise to avoid, avoid the trail next few miles of buoy traps. You walked hundred and forty nine miles. You read Doc Dodob, North Carolina, bad toothache, killed to find a dentist soon. You walked hundred and ninety nine miles, bad case of constipation, very changed diet. Your water break springs a leak. You fall in the street and everything got wet. Lose time. Wilbur Lake, Tennessee. Socks worn through. You'll have to buy new ones. Want to change walking pace or hours of walking? No, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know to do it, so I'll say no. To the start, you'll be like 18 pounds. Wow. How many calories of food you want to eat? Let's say 4,500. 4,000 is good. I'm losing lots of good weight. Okay, suit yourself. You twisted your ankle. I'm in Virginia now. You're feeling horrible. You found a nice country doctor. The exaggeration of the prolonged rain and cold has has put you in a condition we call hypothermia. You can sit in your motel, keep an eye on you. You can't go back on the trail for at least nine days. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Okay. You feel horrible. Now I have poison ivy. I wish weight loss is this easy. Well, I mean, it's this easy, quote unquote, as long as you walk every single day for seven hours. <laughs> uh, all right. You ran out of toilet tissue. Yucko. Socks wore through again. Mice got to your food last night. Yuck. A bear got to your food ripped your pack last night. It's a good thing he wasn't hungry for human burgers. You really should eat a little bit more. I lost 33 pounds. Alright, so let's eat 5,000 pounds worth of food. 5,000 calories worth of food. I don't know how, well, I guess I eat McDonald's basically every day. Why is your food again? What's going on here? 
made a mistake. An animal over here in Swan was a skunk. If it rained for the past week, you're thoroughly soaked. I, I said that if it rains, I want to stay in a hotel. So why am I, why, why am I thoroughly soaked? A branch snaps in your eye. Lose time to treat it. Rot my words out of date. Truly sure to get back on the trail. Oh, I, what happened? I died? Oh, I still saw rocks on the ledge. Your leg is broken. I'm surprised you got into your own power. This is the end of your hike. Sorry, but you can try again next year. Is that June 27th? I, I mean, okay. So, first of all, I made it all the way to Pennsylvania. That's pretty good. <laughs> Fire Gear was like, try again? Hell no. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm not trying again. Is it completely random? Unfortunately, I can't look, look at the source code. They have like the the source code is like I mean, you could look at it if you in GW Basic. When I try to look at the file, it's like a some kind of uh, binary file. But again, let's, let's try again. That was um, what? Basic Computer Adventures. Wait, I think I have this book. No, I don't have this book. I want, I want, I, I wanted to buy this book, Basic Computer Adventures, on eBay, and someone listed it for like forty dollars, and I, and I said buy it now, and then they canceled my order, and I said why'd you cancel the order, and they said, oh, we meant to list it for four hundred dollars. I was like, what? I said you're never gonna sell it for four hundred dollars, but whatever. Like, I think that's this is. Somehow this is like, uh, part of this is, is this really here? I guess I just did number six, walk the entire Appalachian Trail. Are these other games actually here? Deliver packages, let's say number eight, deliver packages using the New York subway system. Is this, wait, hold on a second. I'm like super confused now. Is this whole disc like uh a lot of the stuff is is wow. That's crazy. Oh god, this is very you don't like this pirate gear boy? Oh there's some sound. There was actually some sound. It's probably too loud, right? I'll lower the sound. You have a job with a messenger slash courier service. Oh, with the seller canceling the order. Yeah, no, what, what an asshole. Like, who the fuck's going to pay $540 for that book? Nobody. You're lucky that I paid $40 for the book because nobody else is going to pay for it aside from me. Anyway, you have a job with a messenger courier service located in Midtown Manhattan. See, so you have five packages delivered, five packages pick up for delivery to other locations in the city. So in total, you must visit 15 different locations. You can use 2664 stakes in the New York subway system. For service by the following 11 trains. A, B, C, G, D, E, F, N, 1, 2, 4, and 7. You must complete a notice of by 5 p.m. Your boss gives you $20 for tokens. Oh, my God. Drug to learn after 5 p.m. Easier, sure. How the hell? Are you going to print and copy the screen for leader reference? You're joking, right? That <laughs> PC speaker is out here in some excitement. What's... This is actually... I mean, the fact that this is on this disc is cool because I don't think that book came with a disc. So I get all the fun of this without the book. But what... Like, it doesn't even tell me anything. First of all, like, I'm not going to remember this. I don't, like, I don't even know where, where, like, where are these places? I'm going to look at the MTA map now? All right. Computer Education Department, Columbia University. Snipping tool of the rescue. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you snip it for me, Pirate Gear Boy? I'm too lazy to do it myself. You've arrived the 40... Second Street, Eighth Avenue Station. Change around the station. 
E Thalia Express, yeah, you local. Here comes E Thalia Express into Leffert's Boulevard, Queens. <laughs> Do you want to get on? Uh, no? Here comes the E Local Trade to World Trade Center. Uh, no, I, I want the I want the A Express train to uh to to two to two hundred and two hundred and seventh street. Come on, you bastard. Why does the same train keep coming? What's going on here? Two hundred and seventh street, I was right. Turns to Chelsea Brewer Wash House Manhattan. Hey, Miami Sunrise. No, no, no. What's no, no, no? Oh, you're saying no to every soul train? <laughs> uh, do I want to get off? No. Do I want to get off here? No. Do I want to get off here? No. No. 107th Street, George Washington Bridge. Yes. I want to make a delivery. Oh, come here, freaking break. Pirate Gear Boy, which one was that? Which, which delivery was I supposed to make at George Washington Brunch Bus Terminal? <sighs> Isn't it marked on, on the fucking thing? Will you scroll up? No, they don't. Seven? The television says George Bush was one block from here. Off you go. You pick a package and log in as number 11. The address says Windows on the World World Trade Center. I gotta do that one too? And I didn't let me even like, check my logbook. What, what, what did that... What, <laughs> What places am I supposed to go to? I forgot already. Columbia University and whatever, but like... <sighs> no. No, what am I doing? I do want to get off. I mean, I probably do want to get off. Oh, the, the B train is here too. The B train goes to Columbia. I think. Let's check my logbook. West Side Bronx Zoo, West Side Tennis Club, Forest Hills, Borough Hall, Brooklyn, New York Stock Exchange, Big Al's Discount Mart, Rockley Bull, Woodhaven, Brooklyn Academy of Music, Museum of Natural History, which probably is you art. Good lord. Get their trade, I guess. Here comes the number one local South Ferry Battery Park. Do I wish to get on? No. No. Yes. 36 Amsterdam Avenue. Where's Columbia? Is Columbia like 160 something street? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> Maybe it's one hundred sixty eighth Street, Columbia University. I'm looking it up. One hundred sixteenth Street. Would a map help? Yeah, it would. I just say Saint Nicholas. It's a fire on the tracks, folks. We'll be underway in a few minutes. That's nice. Gotta make a delivery. Which was Columbia again? Or was I supposed to pick you a pickup? Hey Ryan, how's it going? This is crazy. This game is insane. I should have checked my logbook. I'm an idiot. 
Columbia is 10. It's too far to walk from this station. Alright, no way to help I play this game. This is ridiculous. This is, this is insane. <laughs> well said. Alright, what's next? Auto race. The longest automobile race, 1908. Oh, great. Press any key when you're ready to go. I'm a classic game, we can't turn you that. <laughs> it won't last very long, the review, I don't think. This program, you're the captain of the Thomas Flyer team. It's your job to get the car from New York to Paris, east to west, as quickly as possible. How am I going to do that? Like, drive on the water? The rain starts February... Oh, you see, New York to... Oh, God. i got to go, like, through, like, Russia and stuff. The race is on February, February 12, 1908. Most of them are coming in problems. Bad weather accidents, mechanical brands, fatigue, and lack of gas stations. For each leg of the trip, buy much gas you need, but no more. Your car is approximately 14 miles per hour. Oh, well, this will vary. Wow, what a great car. More 14 miles per hour? Do 40 miles per gallon? I guess it's probably 14 miles per gallon. You can you can what feel you can. And ship the rest ahead by rail location you need to be held for you called spotting. Fire gear was I guess you're only wall of text the game. I don't think all of them are. It's just this we are getting lucky here. Your car is a top speed fifty four miles an hour. Another amazing car, but I guess nineteen oh eight. However, the probability of breakdown increased substantially at speeds over thirty five. Likewise, driving more than six hours may increase your chance of getting accident. Don't forget this is a race. If you can still get patients to pull you out or get on your own cost time. Choose your care and mechanical problem with the spot or wait to the next large town. If when you run out of money, you can wire Mr. Thomas for more. Your request will be carefully and politely worded. Also, you tell him to uppercase letters. Are you kidding me? You're in New York, New York. You currently have thousand dollars. What's the rest of your hard packed gravel? So the goal will be eight ninety seven miles the next six days. Gas thirty one cents per gallon here. How many gallons do you want? As much as my car can hold. <laughs> for that time, two keys marks keys are being boring. An ear rape for no reason. How many gallons do I want? I don't know. Fifty. How fast do you want to drive? Let's say forty. It's too fast. Thirty-five. Give me a break. How many hours do I drive each day? Six. Let's say... This is not break down. Let's say eight. You dozed off and your cars went off the road? Takes one day? Oh, my God. Oh, no. I, I, I'm driving too many hours. I'm such a loser. I can't drive eight hours a day without dozing off every single time. I ran a gas too. I can't. This is so stupid. All right, I gotta, I gotta restart this. I was going too goddamn fast. All right, let's say two hundred gallons. It's nineteen cents a gallon right now. How fast do I drive? Thirty. Six hours each day. Oops. But I still dozed off. I skidded to a ditch. Cracked transmission housing. Sleep <laughs> game. This terrible roads. 
You can save some time by driving in, on the railroad tracks. I was murdering your wheels, tire hole car. No. No, I don't. Yes. A brake failure. I'll replace the linings. A rough running engine. Go with that. Uh, uh, drastically reduce speed. Do they ask me every single day? The race leader passes point 14 days ago. How, how, how am I making such bad time? You know what? This game sucks. This game also sucks. What? I don't... I'm disappointed here. You know what? I'm gonna get Dave... Dave All... See if I can get Dave All on the channel. He's like... He's like 80-something years old now. But, uh... He's a nice guy. I just don't like this game. What do you guys think? Should I continue or should I just stop? And try the next one. Or you think the next one's gonna be terrible also? <laughs> Should you do a basic? <laughs> Time for lifespan adventures. Oh I got uh I didn't even like I haven't had a chance to look at it, I forgot. I didn't know why me. What about that? Where'd they all go? Oh shit, did I lose them? Oh, I didn't lose them. I got all these, uh, these Windows Lightspan adventures. I haven't had a chance to play that at all yet. I'll have to do that too. What's this, a text-based racing game? Yeah, uh, uh, sort of. I think, yeah, this is terrible though. Uh, this is horseshit. Like, what's the point of playing a game of, of, of like, having a race if your car just breaks every, f for every five seconds? Would you guys go to a race if your car breaks every single day and you get towed and shit? What the hell's the point of that? Sorry. Bowl 2. Let's try that one. Not, <laughs> it probably should be Bowl 2, but it's Bowl 2. Bowling champ. Alright, this sounds better. How many bowlers? I guess one for now. Or one's name Stu. Difficulty level zero to sixty. Uh, I'll try. How about fifty? Uh, I mean, I, th I lowered the cycles, but I guess it's a lot low enough. What should I do? Is that one of the key punch discs? Well, I, mean, I think the key punch disc basically stole it from the utility guys. Oops. This guy, this game is this game is like not very good, is it? I mean, it's just like uh, get, get in the middle and, and you're good. Time to wreck some sounds flying out of PC. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna play this. I just try to let's try to escape. How do I how do I end this? Oh no, there's no way to end it. All right, I have to start again. Stupid bullshit. All right, well that wasn't a text adventure. How about country? Yeah, I mean, I think this is the same thing these guys did, um, Pirate Gear Boy. I mean, it's not clear to me, though, but it sure, it sure seems that way. Do you have basic country? What? You know what, actually? I think this... Let's skip this, because... I th at the end, there's a thing that says, um... What's it called? Start? <clears throat> Open. Look at this. There's a the whole Christmas thing. 
West Ho. You guys are to Christmas. The Christmas package version 1.0. If you do the software, okay. For now, you can start the Christmas package. the music. And then you have different options here. So Christmas Around the World is number four. This is Yuzo Koshiro tier. tier. <laughs> you just died. Oh, let's do Christmas music. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, they're serious here. Maybe we should save this thing for Christmas time. I don't know some of these songs. We need like a picture. <laughs> September's close enough. Being a picture of like the log burning and it earns its delectable holiday beef. <laughs> uh, I might I've heard of I mean, I've heard of some of these ones, but I don't know what they are. Uh, Alright, what's the first Noel? Oh, that's the Noel Noel. Makes you feel ill. Neighbors are probably questioning my Saturday now since the Jingle Bell's full blast. See for the watching your show, so you don't sell Christmas. I don't, but I always like Christmas music, actually. And that's why I don't know some of them are called, though. I just know this always like the one that goes, No, well, no, well, this song has no, well. That's like from Animaniacs or something. Alright, that's enough for you. How do I stop it? I got a little like rocky there at the end. It decks the holes with lighted matches. Oh, that one. Da -da 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 -da. Christmas, everybody. No, that's the, you know, like as that goes, it goes like, uh, uh, deck the halls with lighted matches. Fa la 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 la. We will burn the school to ashes. Fa la 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 la. All the teachers will feel sorrow. Fa la 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 la. There will be no school tomorrow. Fa la 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 la. Uh, I want to skip to why. What, 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 don't, you, don't you want to do an order, Ryan? <laughs> Let's try. I don't know what Good King Wenceslas is, but I've heard of it. <laughs> no, no, this one. It's Wenson Sloss. Oh, it's like Worcestershire sauce? Good King Winston, Winston Sloss, okay. What child is this? I don't know what this is either. Oh, this is the, this is a green sleeves. The King's Quest theme. Sleeves. <laughs> 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 it's a 360k disc, Pirate Gear Boy. 
That's, that's, isn't that what he says? What's O come, O come, Emmanuel. Emmanuel's, I think, from the, uh, the TikTok, right? Emmanuel, don't do it, Emmanuel. Yeah, 1985, I probably blew away by this. I mean, I, just, I enjoy this regardless. <laughs> Manual Paris! <laughs> and Cinemax? Ryan, come on. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, too. <laughs> wow, that's so long. Alright, the next one I know, the one, this next one goes like... Do, 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 do. How do I do it? I can't do it properly. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I can't, I can't, I can't do the tune. I'll have to listen to it. I know, I know it in my head. Yeah, I It does sort of. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Stop the music, obviously, but... There should be an option to play them all, by the way. Some of the notes get, like, distorted, though. They go like... Mm -hmm. I don't know why it does that. Your ass is burning, your ass is burning. Your ass is burning, I please wake up. That's funny. It was like silent night, holy night. Santa Claus is coming to town. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, cause I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to the something mall. How's life in New Jersey? It's alright. Shall I die burning wife? <laughs> Show it off. <laughs> you gonna press all stats? Alright. I pressed it for you. <laughs> God rest you, Mary Gentleman. Oh, this song. Da, 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 da. That said Jesus was born on Christmas Day. I heard this, I heard this song before. Da, 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 <laughs> he 
He was too busy today to do something else. Alright, we, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep going, keep it going here. Uh, joy to the world. That's not the right one. <laughs> joy to the world, my teacher's dead. We blew off her head. What happened to her body? We flushed it down the potty and down and down it goes. Something like that. I'm back at 3,000 cycles again, by the way. Maybe why some of the stores getting distorted. I didn't realize that I was doing that I was back on that. We still have to play that tight chart. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. What was the songs I was singing? They're like, I don't know, stuff we sing in school, like bad songs. Nice ending there. Oh, come all ye faithful. Oh, that's this? I don't know what this is called. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> they beat it through the rest. We didn't sing it for the teachers. <laughs> we didn't sing it for the teachers. Lots of songs like that. I almost done Gamer's Grotto. I'll stop this one. You know the song we used to, the, the, the best one was the one that went, um, On top of Old Smokey, all covered with sand. I shot my poor teacher with a green rubber band. I shot her with pleasure, I shot her with pride. I couldn't have missed her, she's 40 feet rot wide. I still wasn't satisfied, she still wasn't dead. I took a bazooka and blew off her head. I went to her funeral, I went to her grave. Some people threw flowers, I threw a grenade. This is a war first check here, remember. But that's, that was the gist of it. <laughs> During care, basically. Oh, yeah, I do. I'll hear this part. Fa la la la, fa la 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 la. Yeah, she, she didn't give me a head. Three, three, uh, enough, enough of you. Three, three kings. Sounds like, like they're gonna burn down the place. We have Torch, Jeanette, Isabella, and heard of that title. Uh, enough of this. Silver Bells is actually my favorite Christmas song. Silver Bells. Hey, Lobster Key. Club Little Children. Doesn't sound too nice. <laughs> Come on, we're almost done. There's only 26 of them. <laughs> I 
I don't know what this is at all. Ever heard of Oh Come Little Children? Yes, gamers cross. I'm rooting for Ryan. It's home for the holidays. Oh, of course. Yeah. Home for the holidays. for a pot of midnight clear. Sounds familiar, but not familiar enough. actually. Fair enough. Old little town of Bethlehem. Chaos, not a good radio. Sorry about that. Uh, Rudolph the Windows Ranger, you know that one. Rudolph the Windows Ranger. Torch Jeanette and Isabella. No Why is here? Come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus. I speed it up now. To me, this so far is the best thing on the on this disc. <laughs> they got the torches almost over as a part of your boy. All right, we'll turn it off. I can't. Come on, turn it off. All right, stop. And turn to main menu. What else we have here? Hidden words. You can't. There's no Patreon. Hidden words menu. What is this, like a word search? Maze level? Let's see what's intermediate. Oh my god. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, I, did I just find? Did I? I press one for what I do. Oh, that's how you do this. And can you get a PCS was you impress with a PCP for sound? That's funny. Oh, we're not. This is stupid. We're not gonna do a word search, but it's. I mean, this is this is cool. I mean, like back. If you, you can give this to your kid, like back in the day, and they'd be like, "Wow, this is amazing." I'm not gonna do it though. Uh, how do I exit? Oh, sorry. Okay, stop the blizzard. You can see how fit, how how what's over speed it is for that probably. I don't know how fast it's supposed to go, but... Stop the blizzard. The North Pole is always the fear is going to snow too much. Why are you asked? You know that 1395, fierce winter storms often stop the delivery of presents by Santa. Went out for a little rain journey in Rudolph. I know it says in 1395. 1538, Santa was almost too ill for a pneumonia caught a pre Christmas blizzard. In 1964, the sleigh used to deliver gifts and was continuing from ice. The fiercest blizzard... To the North Pole of this century. Do I the jingle discs? Um, I had, I had one of them, and I gave it away to, uh, to, to Kevin, uh, Kevin Ng, who's a friend of mine. I don't know if you know him, but uh, I, I think I, I think I had two of them. I don't think I have any more. In this game, you control the snowfall. You ask the guest layers of crisp related phrase. If you guess correctly, the letter appears on the screen of the correct spot of that phrase. Guessing world close to snow. Is this is like Hangman. Guess a letter. Uh, e. Uh, what could this be? E. Anybody have any idea what the hell this is? E. What? Eve, Eve? No, <laughs> stupid me. It's Eve, something Eva. I've got the jingle there for C64. Uh, what the f What the hell is this? What in the name of God is this? E ba e ka e da e g a. It's about Christmas. What's the? What are you trying to write snow there? T. No, it's not a T. Uh. Anybody have any idea what the hell this could be? Press F1. Yeah, literally, this is there's no, no help here. ETA for EGA. <laughs> I, I tried T already. We're gonna try G. <laughs> what in the world is this? I don't know. E I A E I A. What's E I A E I A? That's a phrase? Let's try this again. 
Okay. Okay, that's what I know. Frankincense. That, that's a word, at least. What's EA? EA. Guess the letter. this oh it's it shows this 2022 yeah good point <laughs> I didn't even notice that what the hell is this what the hell is this there's some is this some some German thing? <laughs> Still knocked. Okay, I mean I figured knocked. Luckily, it got the T for free. Let's try this again. What kind of weird game is this? It's like the weirdest freak of words. Uh. Uh oh. All right, last one. Oh, <laughs> subtract out of range in sixty thirty. I guess that means that nobody ever played this many this many games before. I want to stop the player. I want to actually exit. Okay, here we go. Christmas around the world. E A I A E I A is for Christmas song titled "A Little Child." There is Yabor. If you say so. One of hundreds of countries, perhaps it might be interesting to see the people of your country say right the phrase Merry Christmas. This game challenges your knowledge. I don't know how they say Merry Christmas in Israel. This game challenges your knowledge how the people of the world speak or write these Yuletide phrase. Oh my god. Alright. Our players won. Which country <laughs> do they say? Shedor Havor Zenound. Anybody know? Not United States. Any guesses? I would say Czechoslovakia. It's a hell of it. Or maybe it's. Uh, nobody's guessing here. I would say Czechoslovakia. It was Armenia. Which kind do they say non-leg Nate Kugat? Uh, anyone? Anyone? Anybody? Uh, Ireland Gaelic? Holy cow! I got one right. Which do they say Felices Pasquas? Uh, some Spain or Portugal, maybe, or Mexico. Feliz Pascuas, do do do. Feliz Pascuas. No? <laughs> uh, I, I say Portugal. It was Spain. Oh, so close. Which country they say Glendling Joel? Glendling Joel. Literally, Joel. I'll say Finland. Norway. I was so close. Matt, you knew. Oh, man, man, Matt. She was waiting for Matt to give the answer. Which do they say? S. Roches. 
Rochest Vom Christovim. It sounds like Soviet Union, maybe, or maybe Bulgaria. Or Romania. I'll get Soviet Union. Soviet Union? Yes. Which card do they say? Vrolinski Christmas. I guess Christmas is Christmas. Vrolinski Christmas. Poland? Poland is my guess. Poland? Belgium. We say Merry Christmas. I know this one. United States. Yay! Wesselich Sviat. That sounds like Czechoslovakia. Or Romania. That sounds Polish? Alright, we'll go for Polish then. Nice, Dorian. Good job. Glendaling Jewel. We had this one before. What was the, what was the answer? Was this the one that was that was uh, that was Norway? Was the, was this the one that was Norway? Matt, oh, let's try Norway. All right, we if we give it half of these right, we're we're, we're doing well here. And which one do they say Bulldog Karaksoni? I think it's Bulgaria. Hungary. Do I need to try again? Definitely not. Well, let's try uh, the Christmas tree. Oh, she's known for all the songs. Play some old tunes of Christmas tree. You'll play music in the background. Right, let's try that. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is a good story to play, right? Oh look at that! I have no idea what it's for, Matt. You tell me. I thought it was just like, it's a, it's a winter holiday. <laughs> Your kids, an old man progress to create to use those back in the day. And then all of a sudden, roughly, Matt's just running this in the background. We couldn't wait to clear out and get a second Christmas party. I was named that Carol. I was there to play it for me? What is that? Name that tune? I need like more than a couple of one note. I'm not doing this. This is like name that tune. Forget that. Right, so let's make a banner since Pirate Gear wanted to see that. Let's try number three. I think I'm just going to show you. No, it's okay. I, I, I'm actually going to start printing to my printer here. I mean, I wonder what will happen actually. I guess we can, we can see what happens. I don't think my printer's even connected. That printer is like taking a nap, it's not doing anything. 
I guess I guess I thought it was pretty, but it wasn't. You'll have to go after this. Oh man. Night it's sleepy time for you, Pirate Gear Boy. Alright, let's exit out of here. I think that's that's everything. Alright, what else we got? Uh cut what's your heart? Oh, it's one of those other stupid things. Around the world flight of the million Earhart, 1937. This guy, David it all. I realize he's a good imagination. In this simulation, you take the role. I feel like this is not going to be. The, the streams to go downhill from here, folks. So I encourage you to stay, but if you do need to leave, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> this simulation, you take the role of Amelia Earhart in your attempt to fly the world at Twin Engine Lockheed Electra. Prior to each flight, like your information, your physical condition that you're navigating, your just your destination, the current weather. It's so probably as many day decisions before taking you off while off prior to landing. Our ideal condition is 150 miles an hour, playing around 2.3 miles on ground, and fuel is your seldom ideal. The electric. You're right, I do need gamers ground, that's a good point. It would probably be much more entertaining. The electric can hold to 1150 gallons of fuel. Our engine mechanical points, da, 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 boom, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is so your navigator is a serious alcohol problem? As long as your ground time is minimal, you won't chance to get lost in the bottle. If you get trapped on the ground by a series of tropical storms and he gets drunk, you have to find you may find you have to rely on dead wrecking and landmarks when you're back in the air. This is probably impossible. My alarm. In Oakland, California, you feel used to more sleep. Are you more ready to go? How many gallons of fuel do you want in the plane? Uh two hundred? What speed do you wish to fly? I wasn't paying attention. How speed? What speed should I fly? Oh, okay. How about 150? Do you want to land? Okay. All right, gals, we have the play in 300. 150, yeah. Where am I, what's the point of this? I'm, f I'm still flying to Paris? Didn't it be the air get lost in the Bermuda Triangle or something? Uh oh. Revving up engines, the landing gear struck broke. The electric line comes to the road with a broken wing, smash engine structural damage. Just in the old fame, March 20th, over Honolulu. I'm so sorry. Sorry, your flight was like, I mean, like, this is just completely, uh, you're right. It says here, she she flew 27,000 miles before going down at Millie Atoll, the Atoll, the Japanese held Marshall Islands. What, I mean, what was the point of that? It's completely random. Like, I don't, I, can, I don't control over that at all. All right, what, what did I not do here? The Journey of Marco Polo, 1271. It's all like the same type of thing. You're going on some trip. The subway one was different. The subway one, you figure out where the freak to go. But aside from that, so far, they're all like the same. It's like, we're going somewhere, you can decide some basic conditions, and then you and then you have some kind of tragedy. Sorry, Vance, 1271, you travel by sailing to the port of Armenia. On arrival, you appear over 6,000 mile track in the court of the great Kublai Khan in Shang Tu Cathay. Having set aside 300 precious jewels to find your plan through your trip, you must barter for the following supplies in our media. Cabels, you want 8 to 10 cabels, food, oil, provisions, you also pack clothing, weapons, and medicines. And when provisions will be depleted, you go along once you replenish them. Selection of five supplies for your various regions was barter wise as emergent. That's going to fishing or hunting and occasionally you to get some food this way. 
Where the seaport of Laos is Armenia. Where's the port city? So tree of three cows, the price is 17 and 24 jewels each. I'm to play with a cow, about 15. 16. I guess you're supposed to like to say the bill. 10 camels. Let's say 20 sacks. Let's say 10 skins. Mark your skill with the crossbow on the falling scale. Uh, I can't charge it more 300 paces. Give myself a better chance here. Uh, let's eat reasonably well. So, a rich merchant. So, two months I eat five sacks of food. Do I wish to barter here? What's, what's here? Where am I? Fourteen freaking jewels, and only have forty. I would, how can I possibly make this journey? Let's sell the camel. The ten jewels for it. Trouble. Sacks of food. I'll buy five sacks of food. Did I type it fast though? Was that the problem? Hired me, this guy with a chest, they took some jewels. Was I supposed to type in capitals? Not sure what happened there. Type sprung. Clothing at least is cheap here, but I need more money. Jagged rocks tell your sales are clothing. Saxon food is only two jewels, right? that's good. Let's get uh, Adequately only. Create a fire short so my food and clothes. I have no food now. Can I sell a cow? Well, yes. Possible here. Use three skins of all the cooking. Long stretch of bad water. You only 12 jewels to barter. You just sell a camel. No. I'm in really big trouble. I, let's get, let's, Marco Polo sucks. Like, why doesn't he have more money? Like, what kind of jewels are these? Like, a set of clothes costs 15 freaking jewels. If 
five shoes. Do enough food to go on. Now I'll close you five jewels per sack. Well, it was five jewels per sack anyway. I finally brought one down by hunting these two sacks of food. Now I know we're closed again. Gotta establish a silk room before you get rich. Do you want to eat a camel? No? Oh, so I died. Okay. Wow. I thought like if I said, do you want to eat a camel, you could go and buy some more food. But just... He just decides to just die instead. And like, I, how can I die with 2.6 sacks of food left? Should I at least eat the sacks of food that I had? That's bullshit. Yeah, I should have eaten the freaking thing. <sighs> Westward Ho over the... Oh my god, I don't think I can play this anymore. These are all the same. These are all the same. Did I get this book? Now I'm really curious. I want to see. Hold on a second. This is the one that I got, or this is the one that I did get? This is what I did get. Actually, so hold on a second. Let me see if I can find the book. Hang on one sec. I'll be right back.
All right, I found the book. <coughs> David All's Basic Computer Adventures. Uh, Ten Treks and Travels Through Time and Space. And what was this written? I guess 1986. 1986. And so, oh, and it says, to save you hours of typing in the programs, additional hours of finding these inevitable typos, David Alls created a special program disc for basic computer ventures. The disc contains all 10 programs included in the book, plus loading instructions for IBM PC, PC Junior, and PC compatible computers. So basically, it looks like they just stole it. I mean, like, I, I don't, I mean, like, you let, you let just, like, copy the disc, and this game, this could not have come out, like, too much after this book. I mean, this disc couldn't have come out too much after this book. And, like, most of the book is just... I mean, there's a bunch of text also, but a lot of the book is just, um... You know, type in listings with basic. Was it, oh, let's see, is there a map that comes with the, uh, the New York subway one? The whole oh, there is well not really. There's like a little map. But that's it. Wow. I mean you must have spent so much freaking time writing all these these simulations. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure if he wrote the wall himself or if these are like, uh, if he, if he took them from other people or what, but I feel like, you know, like the Marco Polo one. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I, like, I don't, I want to, like, peruse this book a little bit more before I try to play any more of these games because. Maybe there's something that'll help me like actually play them, but and also they're all pretty much the same. I, I let me see if there's anything else on this disc. Hangman is that fix bass? What's that? What is this? Yeah, it's, okay, whatever. And then the hangman is the hangman we saw already. I'm assuming. So I think every I think this whole disc is just those two things. It's the is a combination of the Christmas one. What's Mansion? Neptune, Open, Orient. I think Mansion would be something different. Let me open the last second. Let me open the original disc here. Uh, image mount A colon C uh, temp disk images PBS basic games IMG just T floppy. Come on, man. Floppy. It only came with with four things. There's all dot zip, which I'm assuming is this is this this book. There's Christmas dot zip, which is the Christmas stuff. There's also Bowl Two and Mansion. The Bowl Two was the bowl that we played before, the one that was really shitty. And then there's Mansion. So what's Mansion? Do I want to restore a save game? Kingsley's Mansion, copyright 1990. So this disc is, is later than 1990. What is this? A text adventure? 
He would come lost in Harper's Woods, the way back from a hunting trip. It's getting dark. So you have to wait till the light of day or try to find your way out. You probably get a tree away from where you to come. Suddenly, a huge old two story mansion magically appears before you. You heard old rumors that the mansions would appear in these woods on the same night every year, only you disappear before dawn. Following screams of terror within a raging fire that engulfs the mansion in flames. Supposedly, the mansion did once stand in these very woods many years ago, but one fateful night, the mansion was destroyed in a blazing fire. Dr. Benjamin Kingsley, Zora Alexandria, and their maid Rosa all perished in the fire. It's speculated by some that Dr. Kingsley went insane, murdered Alexandria and Rosa, and then upon really what he had done, a state of guilt ridden madness, set the fire himself. No one knows for sure the exact events of that horrible night. Put your caps lock on now. The instructions, yes. Yes. Yeah, it's some kind of text adventure. It's a kind of registration fee. Interesting. All right, well, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm not going to start a text adventure now. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to read this book <laughs> and see what I learned from it. And we do a part two of this stream, which I'll play the text adventure... And I'll also check out the simulations we didn't check out yet, because I want—I do want to check them out at least once. Uh, I was—it was getting a little tedious for one night, but uh, maybe I'll it will start fresh, a different day. Tomorrow, theoretically. Oh, Michael! No, I didn't type in any of these games. Um, I just—I—they uh, I, I, all, all came on this disc called Basic Games. So I, I didn't type any of it. Some someone typed it in. I, I don't know who did it, but uh, but anyway, yeah. So um, <clears throat> tomorrow, theoretically, I should continue the 1893 game, but it's, I'm not sure I want to go from one text game to another text game. Maybe I'll play Klingon Honor Guard or something. We haven't, I haven't played that for a little bit. We'll see. Tomorrow I'll be back. We'll see what I'm in the mood to do. But um, uh, make sure you guys hit like if you haven't done so already. And um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you to all the people that were here, all the regulars, Matt, Always Asleep, Dorian Cairn, Miami Sunrise, Pirate Gear Boy, uh, Gamers Grotto, uh, Ryan, who else was here? A bunch of trolls. Um, Michael, if you're someone new, welcome to the channel. As opposed to one of the trolls. <laughs> Hopefully you're not a troll. Um, and was that it, I think? Oh, Pal Puck was here. That's pretty much it, I think. So, thanks to all the regulars who were here. Um, if you watch this after the fact, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And uh, you won't, I guess, find content like this probably anywhere else on the internet. So, not on YouTube, I guess, or, or Twitch. So, Give me a like, a follow, whatever it is, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. So, what time tomorrow? Um, probably, usually around 10 p.m. Eastern, but uh, sometimes I, I start later if someone else is streaming and I'm watching it and I, you know, I don't, I don't want to like cut it to their stream or something, but usually around 10 p.m. Eastern is the time I usually stream. But again, it could be later. It could theoretically be earlier, although tomorrow probably won't be earlier. I'm thinking of going tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not, but I'm thinking of going to this place out of the Jersey Shore called the Silver Ball Retro Arcade Museum or something like that, where there's supposedly really old pinball games and really old arcade games and some electromechanical ones, so I want to check that out for a while. I may go tomorrow, we'll see. All right, folks, anyway, have a great night, and talk to you all soon, and uh, peace out, everybody.